Today I'm watching Buffy the Vampire Slayer season 2 episode 12. Episode 11 was about this robot computer guy named Ted who was starting to date uh, Buffy's mom and was putting tranquilizer in his baked goods um, and then Buffy accidentally killed him or thought she killed him. She didn't know she was a robot and then he came back to life. Um, but yeah, I'm really enjoying this season so far. They had mentioned in the last episode that Spike and Drusilla were kind of laying low as they were recuperating from a previous episode. Um, and Buffy was tending to Angel as he was also recuperating from this attack. Um, so I'm really enjoying this season so far. It's definitely been a step up from season one. They feel like they've really found their stride. They're focusing on character development. It's not just hyenas and other reptile things that seem half made up and just thrown in there. So I'm really enjoying it. I'm really feeling like I'm getting to know the characters and just falling in love with them even more and more every episode. So thank you so much for sharing in this first time watching with me. If you're ever Ever curious about what kind of gear I use or what's on the bookshelf I have it listed in the link below and if you want to have a say in what movies or TV shows I watch be sure to join patreon and as always please like comment and subscribe to this channel and check back often for more awesome content Like Buffy wishes she could bring Angel to the mall or <laughs> Cowboy Vampires, okay. That's the one only. Ah Limber for a cowboy. Bye. Those Wranglers. Couldn't just be a trip to the mall, there had to be vampires. Ever think about anything besides boys and clothes? Saving the world from vampires? Ha! -ha. It's just that I'm worried we're gonna miss class. You know what? This would work a lot better for me if you didn't talk. <gasps> well, it would work a lot better for me with the lights off. Well, yeah, they both have a point, you know. Okay, you know what? I don't need this. Ditto, like a hole in the head. Oh, and they're back at it. Well, they have one thing in common, that for sure. They both enjoy smooching. S E. X. Oh my. Six. That's a good segue. Not the heartbreak of halitosis. I mean, a girl may seem spiffy, but if she ignores her flossing, the balloon is definitely off the road. <laughs> yes, uh, dental hygiene is very important for smooches. I can't take care of things. I killed my gigapet. Literally, I sat on it and it broke. <laughs> Gigapets, I'm assuming, are Tamagotchis. Please. Like Angel and I are just helpless slaves to passion. Yes. Grow up. Mm. Well. Okay. Are Buffy and Angel gonna do it in this episode? Okay. Enough hunting. <laughs> Cover your eyes. At the Slayer? Yep. Ain't that Angel's with her? Yep. Well, how come she ain't slaying? Mm, she's slaying something else. Slaying that smooch game. No. Both right now, if I want to. Why don't you? Sibling rivalry, even if you're vampires. Uh, shack, diapers, sort of, in theory, I guess. It's self contained, yep. Yeah. Good night, Egbert. Oh, she made him a little bed and named him? Okay, that's cute. That's adorable. Eggs are these? Oh God! I'm gonna get you. Boo, 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 boo. She was taking such good care of you. Oh, oh God! It's a hand. It's a fully formed hand. Ugh. Go. Oh God! I can feel it. Oh God! Can you imagine just being sleeping and having this thing crawling? Like, ugh. No. Ah. <laughs> he loves his catchphrases, this one. Oh, God. Okay, now it's back to a normal egg. Hmm. Okay, suspicious. Mr. Whitmore's out. Couldn't find an egg sitter or something. Well then, can you give me a hand? Or 
or he is no longer with us because the egg thing came to life and took over. Boiled you young? Yeah, I know it sounds cruel, but sometimes you gotta be cruel to be kind. I mean, you can bet that little Xander here is thick skin now. Yes. Oh, okay, so whatever creature thing was in his egg, he cooked it when he boiled the egg, okay. It can wait. Well, his body could fall out of a closet somewhere, so we should check some closets. That does happen at Sunnydale. Oh, I see what she's doing. Mm hmm. We'll meet back here. We'll get right on it. Very subtle. Five years from now. Angel, when I look into the future, all I see is you. Aww. All I want is you. So sweet. Who did you date in high school? Oh, you know, just a hundred year old vampire. You know how it is. No big deal. What? There's like this tunnel? And that's the egg teacher? Oh, shoot. Oh, dang it. He's up to no good. That's for sure. Yeah, it was like that Shawshank Redemption tunnel through the wall. Oh, gosh. I don't think they had the Rita Hayworth poster, though, but... Yeah, something's going on, Buffy. Something suspicious. The egg shouldn't be moving on its own. Dinosaur? Is this a dinosaur episode? Prehistoric demons? Ah! Ah! What the heck was that thing? Oh god, is that a spider? Oh, nightmare. Nightmare fuel. Nope. Nope. Hard pass. Hard pass. Just getting her trusty iron, okay. Ah! Oh god. Oh, nightmare. Nightmare. Ugh. Oh! Oh, okay, not a spider. Some scorpion thing? Is that from those demon brothers? They brought in like scorpion eggs or something? Uh. Doing what? Break it. Right now, I want you to smash it with something heavy. Flush it, get rid of it, destroy it. Maybe it's a trap. Something the Gorge Brothers planted for you? Yes. What? Willow, what are you doing? What's happening here? Willow doesn't lie to Buffy. What's going on, man? Mmm, hard boardy. Is he gonna eat his egg? Sorry, Junior. The man's gotta eat. I think you're gonna find something else inside that. Oh, yeah. An autopsy? I could die without sunshine. Oh, Willow. Ah! Yes! Okay, so that thing's on Willow's back? And it's like controlling her or something? Do we even know what to look for? I mean, how are we supposed to figure out what this thing yeah, is? Yeah, what's going on Cordelia's backpack? Oh, it's popping out its eyeball. Gah, Cordelia, look out. They used him to return to the Mother Bazaar. Yeah, maybe he... What? It's a bizarre... Oh! Bonked him. Whoa, whoa. Okay, what are we doing here? Cordelia and Willow are, like, controlled by these things that have, like, lashed into their back. Okay, so this, like, zombie... Troop now is just collecting weapons. Oh no, are they gonna get Buffy's mom too? Oh gosh. Bristow's demon index, Hell's offspring? Uh, I'll be in my Casual light reading. Ah. Oh yes. Is something wrong? I'm sure it's nothing. What was that? Yeah, probably the janitor. Ah no, Giles, no! They got Giles. There's no hope for us now. Frick and Buffy's mom. Ah! Uh, dang it! Who's gonna rescue them? Angel? If Angel somehow shows up at the high school. Who is it? A bozo. Not a bozo. Gazarbo? That's it. Okay. So now. So this link from Rick and Morty. Okay, they're building something? Don't think Principal Snyder would approve, but maybe he's been on it, in on it this whole time, who knows? More eggs, okay. 
Oh, gross. Are you okay? I'm fine. I slipped. Mm-hmm. He's been taken over. Uh-huh. Okay, so this like mama parasite thing's been laying eggs in the basement of the school. Now all the eggs are getting a chance to hash basically and taking over people's neurological functions. Yeah, Xander just pretends to be a zombie and like be in control, then he can just go through. They don't seem too concerned that he's walking through there. Guys, this really isn't a great time. Oh, it's one of that. Whoa, bonked him. What the hell is this? They weren't in on it? No. <gasps> Kill them. Ah, no, Willow just sent them to kill. She's got to beat up Giles and Willow. Oh, gosh. Okay, now where are they gonna take these eggs? Who are they gonna give them to? Ah! He's gotta beat up his makeup buddy. Bonked her. He's like, I've actually always wanted to do that. Yeah. Whoa! Well, that takes care of that problem. Bye. That's my brother. He got chomped. Bye. Gotta feed the mama. Not the mama, not the mama. No! <gasps> Buffy went into the pit. She gonna kill the mama from the inside? Gah. They're all just watching emotionless. Good, she's so gooey. Oh. Yeah, bye. See ya. She's like the last thing I want to do now is fight a vampire. Will they remember what happened, or is it just gonna be like they blacked out? Did I really hit you? You knocked me out. Did I hit you? Yes, everyone hit me. <laughs> Right now. And lady, you have to learn some responsibility, okay? Once and for all. She's like, Mom, I just saved you from a parasite. Oh. You will not leave your room at any time except to go to school or the bathroom. Am I making myself? It's a good thing Angel makes house calls. She's like, Mom, I just saved you from a friggin' parasite and, you know, impending doom, but it's cool. We'll talk later. And back to making out, okay. So it was my first time watching Buffy the Vampire Slayer season two, episode 12. It wasn't my favorite out of the season so far. I felt like it was kind of going back to season one almost. Um, and we were on such a good streak with the past four or five episodes of the season, just been really great. So I was kind of disappointed. It wasn't my favorite. Um, it definitely had a lot of scenes of Angel and Buffy making out. Um, and with the scene starting, or with the episode starting off with the sex ed discussion, I was wondering if Angel Angel and Buffy were maybe going to take that step in their relationship. Um, this episode was about eggs that the students had that was their babies basically, their symbolic babies um, that turned out to have this parasite thing that took control of them and turned them into zombies and of course this mama parasite has control of all of these egg babies and she's of course decided to make the grounds under the school her nest um, so everybody comes a zombie and is harvesting these eggs. Buffy is able to figure out that this is happening and doesn't become a zombie and it's her and Xander basically trying to fight this thing off. There's also these two cowboy vampires who have come up to Sunnydale who are trying to go after Buffy um, when her and her mom are at the mall. They attack her and then they meet her again at the school and throughout the whole episode Buffy's mom is kind of giving her this lecture about how she needs to be responsible because she's supposed to pick up her dress for her mom. And I feel like that's something Buffy would really struggle with, being like, hey, I am super responsible, I do all of these things, you just don't know about it. Like, she can't tell her mom that she's a slayer, so she has to just, you know, suck it up and get the lecture and be grounded, basically, and just take the punishment, because even though she knows she's responsible and can handle herself, her mom doesn't know that side of her life, so she kind of just has to 
play it up like, okay, mom, you're right. Like, I'm not responsible because her mom was supposed to meet at the library. Of course, she wasn't there. She was off dealing with this parasite issue, but her mom just sees it as I asked you to do something and you weren't there, basically. Xander and Cordelia were continuing their friends with benefits situation in this episode. Um, and Xander actually punched Cordelia because she was this zombie parasite thing. Um, and I feel like that's something Xander has actually always wanted to do. So he finally had this as an excuse to do it. Buffy's mom was also caught up with this parasite thing. And I think that always adds a different element to it when it's Buffy's mom that's involved. Like we, she doesn't know what's going on. Whereas like Xander and Willow and Giles and everybody, if they get involved, they have a little bit more of understanding of the risks. Whereas Buffy's mom is just an innocent bystander basically and has no idea what world she's stepping into. And of course there's also the risk that she would find out what Buffy is and how that would play out. I'm very curious to see how that goes and if she'd be on board, if she would even believe her. Buffy's kind of said it jokingly a few times. Um, one in season one when she was that cheerleader episode and then even in this episode she jokingly was like oh I'm slaying vampires ha 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 but of course her mom doesn't think she's being serious she just thinks she's telling a joke but yeah overall not my favorite episode I'm hoping the next episode is back to on par of what season two has been so far but thank you so much for sharing in this first time watching with me if you have any other suggestions for tv shows you think I should watch please comment below and let me know and as always please like comment and subscribe to this channel and check back often for more awesome content Slaying that smooch game. What kind of eggs are these? Oh god, I can feel it. Oh god. Prehistoric demons? Ah! Ah! Oh, yeah. They got Giles. There's no hope for us now. That's my brother. Gotta feed the mama. Cover your eyes.